The knife hobby is full of such cool designs and awesome knives. Each one, just like this Bad Habits mofo here, is a combination of artistic flair, design, and utilitarian purpose. This is one of the few hobbies and areas of interest where you really can combine art, utility, and function into a single object. Don't worry, guys. I am going to go through each one of these knives and tell you what they are, what they're made of, and what the materials are. I just wanted to express how much fun this hobby is. You can get into things like this Spyderco Paramilitary 2, which is a no-nonsense, lightweight EDC knife that is easy to use and relatively affordable, made here in the U.S., or get into this highly collectible Ghostbuster Switchblade from Microtech that is super limited edition that has a ton of artistic details and is really, really cool. Knives have been used as a tool for thousands and thousands of years. A way to put food on the table, build shelter, and defend yourself from threats. But it's also been a means of expressing artistic vision, craftsmanship, and the ability to make art out of function. Now, in case you're wondering what these knives are, let's go through those. These are some of my favorite ones that I currently have in my collection. This knife is from a company called Something Obscene Company. It features a damas steel blade. This kind of steel, damas steel, is one of the most usable Damascus steels that you can get. This front scale here is Mokume, which is an ancient Japanese way of folding different metals. In this case, it features bronze, copper, and nickel all folded together. The bronze and the copper are starting to darken and patina, which is bringing out this pattern. Pocket clip features the same metal as well as the backspacer. This knife is running on bearings and is super, super smooth. This is a Microtech Combat Trodon. It is the flagship model for Microtech, and this particular one is super limited edition in a Ghostbusters theme. It is part of their signature line and features tons of Cerakote all over this blade, including glow-in-the-dark ectoplasm. You can see the Ghostbusters logo that is not only painted, but it's actually etched into the aluminum scales. The action on this is smooth and strong, and it is a awesome piece for collecting or utility. This is the Chavez Knives 229 Redencion. It features damas steel on the blade again, Mokume pocket clip, Mokume backspacer. Now Mokume is titanium that has been folded into itself similar to damas steel or Damascus and then anodized all kinds of cool colors. This particular knife has the kickstop feature. So this flipper is not attached to the blade like a normal flipper. When it opens, it disappears. The flipper tab actually folds in right here and only makes contact with the blade when it's in the closed position. The action on this thing is outstanding. It just flies open and it is a cool brute of a utility knife. Last but not least, we have the Bad Habits Mofo. Bad Habits has been making custom knives for a while, and this is their first attempt at a production knife. This is a thumb stud only knife, and it has a beautiful contrast of darkened flats and the grind lines from the manufacturing process right there. You can see the really cool logo of the skull with the knife in the mouth. This one has a Mokume pocket clip. Mokume backspacer, Mokume pivot collars, and thumb studs right there. What a cool, usable, EDCable knife that has a lot of artistic flair. So as you can see, the world of collecting, owning, and using knives is vast and rich with a lot of different options, whether you are more on the utility side or you are more on the collector artistic side. There is something for everybody. My favorite place to be is right in the middle. I have knives that I use more for utility and I have knives that I use more for collecting and admiring. It is a really cool hobby to get into. There is a lot of different facets to it. There's sharpening, there's metallurgy, there's materials. You've got different types of knives, fixed blade knives, folding knives. You can collect historical pieces. You can collect knives that are made overseas. You can collect custom knives. You can make 
Uh, knives that are made in the U.S. only. There's so many different ways to get into this hobby, and all of them are usable and functional. So give it a shot, jump in, get a knife, have some fun, and join this community.